now in our call to worship and we invite you to join in there. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to his setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise, Praise him with sounding bells. Praise him with loud clashing bells. Let every name that breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Sing with me now this verse you know very well. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun of love. Absolutely. All right, well, welcome. Um, thank you for coming. And... Uh, John asked me just to share a few thoughts about this bell and how it came to be here. Um, to get to here from up there <laughs> took quite a few years, four years to be exact. Um, the story is that when the bell tower was restored in 2012, the bell was taken down and that was before it fell down. Um, and it was graciously kept at ABC moving in storage until the Lord was ready to restore it to this spot. Um, like most things, the Holy Spirit leads us to do, God does not always make it easy, but He makes it possible. Um, several people began to talk to me about a vision of having the bell back at church. And in June of this year, Connie Mosley and I had lunch. There's your eat, John, and bells. There you go. <laughs> and um, Connie reached out to trustees and myself for a way to love and remember her dear husband, Jim. And once she and I met over lunch, the Lord used her heart and her generosity to put the people and parts in place just to make this happen. And I cannot tell you from that point forward how easy it was. It just was meant to be. Um, personally, I am so thankful to have been trusted with this project by my church family and most of all by God. Um, now that it's here at this place literally forever, um, it's here to help all who see it and touch it and most of all, hear it, remember the power and love of our everlasting God. As many of you know, Jim spent his entire career with Bell South. And I thought, what a wonderful way to honor that guy from Bell South by bringing the bell home. <laughs> when I first found out that I want our family Jim's daughters, Donna, Cindy, Kim, Stuart. We wanted to do something special for Jim. Jim loved this church, and he loved God, and he was a man of faith, integrity, morals, ethics. He's been described so many different ways. Bottom line, Jim Mosley was a good man. Mm -hmm. He blessed my life in so many different ways. But mostly we were blessed by God. We found each other. And we loved each other from the moment we laid eyes on each other. It was just meant to be. This bell was originally given by Clara Jane Forbes in memory of her daughter in 1928. Since that time, until a few years ago, this bell was in that tower. It told the hour for worship. 
It told the hour for marriages as couples came together and began their lives. And it told the hour when we brought our members out that front door, their last, their last steps to eternity. I remember thinking the day that we had Jim's funeral in April, as we were bringing him out the front door, I wish we, that bell would toll. I wish I could hear that bell. I did not know at the time that the trustees had started on paper the project of bringing the bell home. So Brad, you're right, it was meant to be. But I also want to say this, Jim Mosley would have loved this project. He was an engineer. He would have been here trying to make sure that all of these things were right, that the weight was distributed properly. He'd have been here that day when the truck arrived to make sure they didn't drop it. He would have loved going to the shop where it got power coded because he'd been inspecting everything. This was his kind of project, and he would have been thrilled to be a part of it. And it's just so fitting that we, our family, remembers him in this way, at this place, at this time. We are truly blessed to be able, as a family, to give this gift in Jim's memory. Thank you. So Connie, we invite you now to lead us first in this liturgy of dedication as you on behalf of the family offer these next words for all of us to hear. The glory of Almighty God and for service in this church in loving memory of Jimmy Douglas Mosley, better known for all of us who loved him as Jim, Dad, Granddad, and Papa Jim. We acknowledge and give thanks for all those who have participated in its relocation to this place, the designers, the craftsmen, and especially the family of Rose Forbes Quinterly, who generously provided the bell in its original home in our bell tower. Wayne Caldwell, our church accepts this bell as a sacred trust and will guard and use it reverently in loving memory of Jimmy or as Connie said, most of us knew him as Jim Douglas Mosley. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we consecrate this bell to the glory of God, and in memory of God's servant, Jim. The memory of the righteous is ever blessed. Let us pray this prayer together. Most love without you, no words or works of ours have been. Accept the gifts of our hands as symbols of our devotion. Grant us your blessing as we have consecrated this gift to your glory. May it be an enduring witness before all your people. And may our lives be consecrated in your service. For we pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. same God who came into this world and rang a loud clarion bell in the person of Jesus the Christ. May he resonate in you now and forever. Amen. 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 Go in his peace.